Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting a women's story bout between former women's story rate champion Jessica Andrade versus um, Marina Rodriguez. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence Marina Rodriguez to beat Jessica Andrade. I dropped, but anyway. Yeah, I feel like um, Andrade, you know, she had, you know, a good finish over Mackenzie Dern. Now she's on a winning streak now, a one-fight winning streak. But she hasn't been looking that good in late. Even against um, Mackenzie Dern, she struggled with Dern a little bit on the feet early, which was surprising. Or I wouldn't say she struggled, but she made she allowed Dern to have much more success than she should even ever have against her early in that fight on the feet. And prior to that, she had issues with Aaron Blanchard. Aaron Blanchard was able to strike with her, you know, and actually was probably in some ways actually winning the striking battle with her. Then she mixed up the grappling and she tapped her out. So... She's, Aaron Blanchfield was able to have a lot of success striking her. McKenzie Dern was able to have more success than she should ever have against her striking. And um, she got starched by Yan, Zhao Nan Yan. So she hasn't really been having no real great performances. So, And I feel like her striking, uh, I guess maybe people getting, uh, I guess, you know, understanding for what she does now more. Like, it's, I don't think it's no, necessarily the case, though. She just falling off. I feel it's the case. We've seen you fight like 30 times, so we know what you're doing. We know what you're bringing. And I, we prepare for it well enough, and we can have success against you. And I feel, stylistically-wise, I feel like um, Marina Rodriguez can find successes against her. I feel like Jessica Drodge can look to, you know, if the strike isn't going well, she can look to grapple. But I feel like Marina Rodriguez has shown maybe not the best takedown defense or the best ability to get up, but I feel like she, she will be able... I, I just feel like Jessica Drodge is not going... That's not really her style too much to really go out there and grapple. So I feel like it's a, you know, it's a, it's an angle where it's probably not going to be enough takedowns, not enough control time. And Marina Rodriguez, if she feels like she it's a, a big effort or, you know, it's a big importance to get to her feet or a big urgency, I feel like she will be able to work her way up to the feet. And I know for sure she's solid enough to not get submitted by Jessica Andrade. She has good, solid submission defense. She's been on the ground with Dern and Aspars and the other people that have much better offensive grab and much better wrestling. So, yeah. I think she can, um, yeah, ultimately with this one, I feel she's can address the graph then with Draj, and then she can use her length and volume to make this fight very competitive. I don't think she stops on Draj. She's a decisionator herself, um, for the most part, Marina Rodriguez is, and Draj is tough. She's durable for the most part, unless it's Wei Li Zhang or um, Zhao Nan Yan. Chinese fighters, for some reason, got her number. They TKO her all the time or hurt her, so... But yeah, unless you're Chinese and uh, Wei Li Zhang or Zhao Nan Yan, you're probably not going to TKO her. But I can't see Marina Rodriguez out her, her, outstrike her. Again, if she let Dern get off like that on her and let it Eric Blanchard get off on her like they did, I feel like there's an angle for Marina Rodriguez, who I feel is a much better striker than both of those women. And she got length and size and more technical striker. I feel she can get success on her. And I feel she can, again, address the grappling as much as she needs to against Andrade. I feel like a drive couldn't have success, but in the graphing department, I feel like it's very will be very limited and you know not really consistent. You know, fee, I feel like it's, it's probably going to be in a split decision type fight where people say, "Oh, she got to take it down. She held her down for three minutes in this fight, and the, that was around was close." But uh, hey, um, um, Marina Rodriguez landed ten more strikes than her or something like that. I feel, I feel like this could easily be one of those split decision fights, especially with how they're going with control time anyway. So I feel like it'd be a case where, yeah, she had controlled her, but she didn't really do much to her. Yeah, but all I'm saying, I feel like this could be a split decision fight. I feel, um, I feel Andrade has not been as much of a menace in the striking department in her recent fights. And I feel like Marina Rodriguez can find success in the striking department. And I feel she can address the grappling as much as she needs to. I'm not saying she's going to shut it down, but as much as she needs to so that she can prevail off her output on the feet in beating Andrade in a close decision victory. So... In this one, I got Marina Rodriguez via decision. 